Vitamin A deficiency or hypovitaminosis is an affliction that plagues reptiles, birds, and amphibians. In previous videos, I've showed you some pretty extreme cases, but this gecko is in the very early stages. It's experiencing buildup of shed, which is keratin. These animals often shed more than they should, which falsely leads some keepers to believe that they're growing and healthy. The most obvious sign is when the keratin starts to build up on the eyes. I wanted to show you this case because it's actually pretty mild, and a lot of people might miss these early warning signs. Even though this gecko had enough humidity, it still has stuck shed because its body is producing so much extra. I'm using a sterile saline solution to soften the plugs that are developing on the gecko's eyes. It has to be so uncomfortable, even in these beginning stages. As the keratin builds up on the eyelids, it starts to irritate the eyes. Over time, more keratin, secretions, and debris gather. I'm using a piece of cotton also moistened in the same saline solution. I don't want to rub the eyes, but rather the eyelids and corners of the eye. It looks like the eyelid on this side has some old heel damage, possibly from the gecko scratching it. A lot of people know about calcium deficiency in reptiles, but they overlook other vitamin deficiencies. It's absolutely necessary to also use a balanced multivitamin as directed by the manufacturer. For reptiles, I also like to make sure that the vitamin A is not derived from beta-carotene because it's a little bit less absorbable. There's several brands on the market that meet this criteria, and I use both of these. Vitamin deficiencies are so easy to prevent, but can be difficult to cure. It's as simple as dusting your feeder insects or other food. I just put the feeder insects in with a small amount of powder and shake. Here's another one of my rescued geckos enjoying a delicious dubia roach. Meaning minimum care requirements has allowed this gecko to turn around and thrive. Now back to our first subject. He spent some time soaking and it's time to remove these stuck toe caps. If these are allowed to remain and dry out, the gecko could lose his toes. The extra shed skin acts like a tourniquet and can cut off circulation. Providing proper humidity and moist tides can help prevent this, but in this case, the vitamin A deficiency is causing extra skin to build up even faster than it normally would. As a vitamin A deficiency progresses, it can also cause issues around the mouth and within the mouth due to the keratin building up and causing irritation. Combined with reduced visibility if the eyes are affected, this can further lead to a loss of appetite. After a few minutes, this gecko's eyes are already looking more bright and clear. With further supplementation, he should be back to normal pretty soon. The toe caps are clear and this will be monitored to make sure that they don't come back. I'm going to let him remove the tail skin on his own. One week later and the gecko is looking better than ever. His eyes aren't perfect yet, but in another week or so, you probably won't be able to tell anything was ever wrong. With the right care, leopard geckos can make amazing reptile pets that live 20 years or more.